much for coming out today. I'm Chris Duncan. I'm one of the owners of Frisco School of Music and Musical Arts Schoolhouse, along with Steve South, who is uh, my business partner, and he's working the uh, sound booth today, so that's real exciting for us to be here. You bet. This is going to be a great show. We're so excited, and it's my pleasure to now introduce our preschool director for the Musical Arts Schoolhouse, Miss Michelle Tormos. Thank you. How are you guys today? I'm so glad to see such full seats in here. We have a great show for you today. I want to welcome you to the Musical Arts Schoolhouse Music Concert and Art Gallery for 2012. And today's show is Dr. Seuss Goes to School, and it has definitely been interesting for us to teach this topic to the kiddos. And um, while you're here today, um, we're going to divide the show into two parts. And the first, I'm sorry, no, we're not. I'm going to do that. That was our first show. Um, but with this show, I want you to look on your um, program, and they're divided into multiple pages. That's what I wanted to say. Eight and ten. There should be actually three pages. There's a show two, page one, show two, page two, and show two, page three. Everybody find that there so you can just kind of follow along. Okay. So today the children are going to be um, incorporating music with songs and creative movement, and they're going to be introducing some art pieces. And I want to assure all of you that. For this show, we have not displayed every student's piece. Um, we're only featuring the ones that we're highlighting in the show today. The child did complete all the pieces, and we will be sending those home uh, in the next week or so. Okay, so um, today I'm going to start with our first teacher, our music lead teacher, Miss Rachel. to our fall art and music presentation this year. Uh, your children have done a great job in preparing and learning for the music for the show today, and they and all of us are very excited for you to see it all come together. We have experienced pitch matching, steady beat development, self-control, musical expression, and many other things um, as we have prepared for what you're about to see. Many of you have been hearing bits and pieces I know of the show sung and danced through your homes, um, so we hope you enjoy the finished product all that much more. Thanks again for your ongoing support and for your interest in your child. And please enjoy the program. I'll turn the time now over to Ms. Vicki for some more words. Thank you so much for coming today. I am so very proud of each one of our students. They have all worked so very hard the past few months to get ready to show you what we've been up to. So at this time, I would like to present to you Dr. Seuss goes to school. Hello. So as the Who's and Who Bill do, 
Let us welcome you to our Seuss show. onto the wax paper. After letting the cake dry completely, we peeled it off and glued it to our paper plate, creating a fun and creative display of green eggs and ham. And now watch the students sing a jingly jam about those yummy green eggs and ham.
As the students sat working diligently on art piece number two, the cat in the hat asked, What exactly do we do? The children giggled and looked to Miss Vicky for explaining, and with a smile she asked, Friends, what are we creating? A truffle tree sculpture. A truffle tree sculpture, that's right. A truffle tree sculpture? I'm a little confused. What story is that from? From the Lorax! Yes, from the Lorax. We learned that a sculpture is a three-dimensional object. Then I give you many items to glue together to create our tree. Do you remember what technique we used to create our tree? A collage. A collage. Yes, we used the collage technique to practice layering and overlapping. And what did we create? Beautiful trees of your child's creation. Just look over there for their location. The Truffle Tree Collage was inspired by the book The Lorax, which was created by gluing torn pieces of paper onto the tissue roll and craft stick by layering and overlapping, giving a fun, textured look. Then they added colorful tissue paper to the top of the craft stick creating them their very own Trapala tree. And now for your enjoyment, the children will show a song entitled, Let It Grow. Using our pencils, we sketch 
section outline of our portrait using line, space, and geometry. <laughs> so what did we create? Our non-portrait. Our non-portrait. Good. My friends, please say it with me. while they were giving me their biggest yawn. I then printed out their picture so they could have a chance to draw their own yawn portrait. I discussed with the students about how they could use symmetry, line, and spacing to create their yawn pencil drawing. With lots of hard work and determination, the students created a masterpiece that I know you will cherish forever. Our self-portrait yawn pencil drawing. And now, a song in Spanish that's sure to make your day -o. It's called, Let's Take a Ride, or in Spanish, Vamos de Paseo. Listened quietly, grinning ear to ear, to their favorite Dr. Seuss story, when who should appear? Hey, I know this story! Thank <laughs> you. 
And now, a song on piano that is just tip-top and sure to make your jawers drop. So I'll stop my chops. Please watch the students' fingers drop to the beat of a song called Hop on Hop. Plunker, plunker, spill the air. You'll plunk. 
come with pride at what these players can do. They'll plink and they'll plunk and show you something new. Oh, 
song, please take a look as the students present on piano the foot book.
And now the boys and girls of MAS will express their gratitude for supporting their Seuss art and music with such loving attitude. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 